السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Welcome in our professional planning engineer PPE certification course First of all let me congratulate you for taking this step in your planning career This special workshop is uh, really useful for whoever interested in creating, developing, monitoring, controlling any construction project and we will uh, make this workshop as practical as we can so we have a, a real case study with a complicated project and we have some steps that we will follow in order to develop a project management plan for any construction project so let me introduce for you first how this workshop will go on uh, we will start posting lessons and uh, every week we'll post a new lesson this lesson you have to read understand and start implementing whatever we did you duplicate all our steps sometimes we'll give you some assignments to do other times will be quizzes with assignments the only purpose of uh, giving you some tasks to do to be sure that you un uh, understood our concept and you implemented it and it succeeded with you you are welcome to ask any question uh, during the course in the relevant lessons we will have a, a special area for questions and answers and of course we will be very happy to answer all your concerns uh, however we will limit the questions in this workshop for this case study we want to focus on this case study implement all our uh, techniques tools in this case study after we completely finish our uh, case study workshop we will then open the support forum where you can ask different type of questions in your uh, daily problems and how to convert any of our templates or codes to work for you with your uh, scenario so uh, let's focus here in this workshop on the case study the case study actually it is not an easy project it is a kind of complicated project we have uh, four type of apartments and we have four type of villas each one of these um, buildings has different BOQ and we have some other buildings and we have infrastructure work site work and we have landscaping, hardscaping, swimming pools and uh, of course we have uh, boundary wall and uh, the external work like Kirbystone and so on so this project I selected as a, a, a hard case study or a complex, complex project to uh, let you understand the concept of managing huge data managing huge data is not an easy task when you are doing a, a time schedule for a residential building for X floors it could be easy task but if you have multi buildings let's say we have here uh, around three four hundred building types and you want to monitor control and report such a huge information so this is our main uh, target is to know how to focus how to manage complicated projects effectively and smart we are doing our best here to give you the smart way of managing construction projects so we have some thoughts we thought about uh, how to make uh, all your steps easy what, what what would be the first step to create uh, a planning uh, plan let's call it project management plan because it is not only a schedule we are preparing some other documents which we will need during our uh, planning so here we are in week number one we will study our first lesson what is the first step to start um, planning monitoring and controlling a construction project in our opinion, you shouldn't start immediately with uh, POQ or with uh, planning itself or going to Promovera. Uh, this would be uh, a bad option. 
we have here for you a sequence that result from lessons learned because we don't want you to be alone in your decisions in the construction projects we need you to involve all the project team and we need you when you are involved in a discussion to be fully aware with what you are talking about so our first step here or our first lesson in this workshop uh, is how to read your project layout project layout we will have some task here we have a project layout in our case study and of course you should have a project layout in your uh, real project the project layout showing you the scope of work and the first thing you should look at in your uh, project is your project layout because this will give you a very good and fast understanding of the project scope of work so in this lesson we'll start to read our project layout document beginning with the project layout to get the first high level information about our project and its scope of work we will have here in our uh, in this lesson and all the coming lessons two concepts we will have input we will have input documents and output documents you should know what you need to reach from your input documents the project the documents you have right now in hand and you will work it out to create another document so our input document in this case is a project layout and the output documents is a high level scope of work let's go and see what we will read in our project so our case study we need to read the layout legend divide and declassify the work as a work packages and think about execution turn layout drawing into a high level scope of work uh, and work packages and for example we want to have at the end of this lesson a, a very simple document that tells us what is our project really look like what is the scope of work it is very high level this is what I'm telling you now something you should do in the first couple of hours during your planning you will need to open your layout to start knowing your project so let's go and start knowing our project so this is our project we call it future city project and this is the layout you will find almost the same document in all uh, construction projects of course with different scope of work but the concept is the same you will find uh, a layout for your uh, project now I need from you to download this template for the future city project and try to uh, extract the project scope of work I have created it already but I need you to do it yourself what is the scope of work you have here let me show you but don't rely on my document only I need you to do your the exercise yourself so here this is the layout scope of work we have here split it first of all the scope of work into residential buildings utility buildings pools roads infrastructure landscape so this the first document you are creating right now will tell your project team or when you are in a discussion you know what is your project you can't say oh you have a project it, is, it has a residential buildings apartments villas and there, is a, there are other types of buildings or like water tank recreation building stuff building sewage treatment plant generator room and whatever other activities are and I get this information only from the project layout I have here the distribution of the buildings and I have here the buildings types and it should be a very easy task this is our first part in week number one so please try to do it then you are welcome to download our uh, template uh, in order to go to the next lesson thank you for watching this lesson this is only warm up we are getting ready to be more involved and the first step as you can see here let's read 
our layout. See you in the next lesson.